Today's topic is dry eye syndrome. Dry eye syndrome is a condition where your tears are unable to sufficiently act as lubricant and moisture on the surface of the eyes. Tears cover the surface of the eyes to keep it moist and wash off dust, debris, and microorganisms that may destroy the cornea and lead to an eye infection. Dry eye syndrome can happen at any age and in people that are healthy. However, it is more common in older people. The syndrome is also more prevalent in women than in men. In most cases, dry eye syndrome never results in permanent vision loss. Normal and healthy eyes are always covered with a fluid called a tear film. The tear film stops the eye from becoming dry and enables clear vision. There exist three main components in the tear film, the outer oily component, the watery middle component, and the inner mucus-like component and each component is produced by different glands that surround the eyes. The meibomium glands in the eyelids are where the oily component is produced. The lacrimal glands that sit behind the outer part of the upper eyelids are where the watery component is produced. The mucus-like component is produced in the goblet cell. Problems with any of the component can cause dry eye syndrome. Causes An insufficient secretion of oil, or meibom, from the meibomium glands can cause tears to evaporate more rapidly, and this may cause dry eyes. This may be due to a blockage from an inflammation along the edge of the eyelids and some other skin disorders. In some other cases, the lacrimal glands may fail to produce enough watery fluid to keep the eyes adequately lubricated and moisturized. A number of factors that can increase your risk of dry eyes syndrome include some medications, such as antihistamines, decongestants, birth control pills, some sleeping pills, drugs for high blood pressure may also likely cause a dry eye. Certain medical conditions, including thyroid deficiency, diabetes, vitamin A deficiency, and lupus can also cause the condition. Climatic factors, which may include sun, wind, dry air, and dry climate. When you blink less often, this mostly occurs due to an increased visual concentration, such as when using a computer monitor, reading, or driving a vehicle. Diseases like HIV, Bell's palsy, and shingles may also lead to dry eyes. Aging, allergies, laser eye surgery. Symptoms A person with dry eye syndrome may have a range of symptoms, including redness of the eyes, a burning sensation and a feeling of dryness and soreness in the eyes, discomfort and difficulty when wearing contact lenses, sensitivity to light, blurred vision, a sand-like feeling in the eyes, eye fatigue after reading, watery eyes, difficulty with night driving, itchy eyes. Diagnosis Your doctor may ask you to describe your symptoms after which you undergo some certain tests, a careful examination of your eyes by an ophthalmologist or eye doctor can show the presence and severity of your condition. Your doctor may review the complete history of your overall health and your eye health to help him understand the cause of your dry eyes. You may likely undergo a test that evaluates how quickly your eyes produce tears. In this test, strips of paper are placed on the edge of your eyelid and your doctor measures the amount of strip soaked by your tears in five minutes. Some other tests may use special diagnostic dyes, such as fluorescein, to make your tear film visible. This helps to examine the surface condition of your eyes and evaluate how long it takes before your tears evaporate. They are the most efficient, objective, and non-invasive ways of identifying and tracking changes. Treatment Eye drops or artificial tears are enough to treat the condition for most people with occasional or mild dry eye symptoms. Artificial tears increase your eye moisture. In some cases, the underlying medical conditions may need to be treated. This can help to totally clear up symptoms of dry eyes. In a case where your condition is due to certain medications, your doctor may suggest a different medication that won't cause that side effects. Surgery may be recommended if you have a severe dry eye that doesn't go away with other treatments. Prescription medications may be used to also treat severe dry eye conditions. 
This may include anti-inflammatory cyclosporin eye drops or restasis. Your tear duct may be plugged temporarily with tiny silicone plugs in order to slow tear loss. If your condition is severe, it may be permanently plugged. Home remedies can also help relieve dry eyes. They may include conscious blinking while using the computer, driving or watching the TV, wearing glasses for protection from wind and hot air, avoiding smoky places and smoking. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.